Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Shattered Throne on the Titan. Now a lot of people, a lot of you guys might be wondering why I'm doing this. Well, I've never done a Titan solo on the Shattered Throne. And there's been some, let's say, interesting developments this week that have suggested you can skip the ogre section of this. So I've decided to incorporate it into a full run. Now, I know, I can already tell what the the first kind of thing people are going to be speaking about, especially usual kind of subscribers. Why am I using the mountaintop? Well, for two or three reasons. One, it comes with spike grenades, and but it also comes with sticky grenades. Sticky grenades are what you need to do the skip on the ogre. There are other ways to do it. The I think the Behringer, the grenade launcher that drops from IO, you can get it from the, the gunsmith. I'm pretty sure it drops with spike grenades as well. Uh, sorry, sticky grenades. But as you can see here, I'm just on the screen, I'm just showing you guys what I'm using to do this. So the first reason is it's got sticky grenades. Second reason, they've literally, about a week ago, fixed the quest. So it, it, it's going to be more accessible to more people. And three, this is like my fourth... I think it's my fourth good run of the Shattered Throne. It's nearly the end of year two. It's a bit of fun. Can you use it? See whatever you know why everybody was using it, and I can see why because it's very good. Now the other thing we're going to be doing is there is a section of the Shattered Throne where you're kind of on rafters, beams, and there's ogres. We're going to skip that as well. I don't really want. I didn't really want to do it, as you can see that thing that's rolling across the screen. For a second I thought that was like a runaway exotic engram, but it turned out it wasn't. So, yeah, I decided just to use it because I have, I've never used it in a video. I've never done any content with it for the, re, for the simple fact I, I felt it wasn't very attainable at the time. Now, I, I got mine about three weeks ago now. I literally got it the week or just about a week before they changed the quest, so it was, uh, yeah, it was a little bit annoying, but I've had I've had a ton of fun with it. The only time I've really used it is in the Shadow Throne, where I've been testing the skip on the ogre. Now I'm I'm gonna keep calling that an ogre because I can't remember if it's called Morgoth or Vorgoth. I know one of them is the Last Wish, and one of them is the Shadow Throne. It literally is the most. Uh, I, I wouldn't say hard, yeah, hardest, but it's if you're going for solo completion or you're going for flawless, solo flawless, that's going to be the part that's going to mess you up. So I decided this this would be pretty a pretty good time to incorporate it into a run. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother has been in the Shadow Throne by now, but if you haven't, let me just explain this first area real quick. When you come into the Shattered Throne, you'll see, as as you will have seen on the video, you will see a Taken Knight surrounded by Taken Acolytes that, that, that kind of bar in your way. That is the first plate. There are eight bosses, including that one, that you have to clear to finish this area. So the first plate is Diving Bird. The first plate will be your last plate. So basically the way it works is, that is in the center of this whole opening area. It's a night, and then once you come in, you've got six bosses to, to go and kill, all on six, six different plates. And then after the after that, you go back to Diving Bird to kill the final boss that's barring, barring your way out of this area. So when you come into Diving Bird, you've killed your night. There are six plates, three on the left, three on the right. That you have to go to in order. The order you go to them at is the order that it the in the on the plate area that you're in. A symbol will appear. Now, as you can see there, we've got infinite. This is the infinite plate, but single bird has lit up in the center. That's the next plate we have to go to. So on this is the where we are now is the left side. So on the left you have infinite. You have Fire Breathing Dragon, and a lot of people call it 69 Fish. 
I just call it two fish. So it's two fish. So five breathing dragon was behind us in that tower and two fish is down to the left of where we are now. On the right, you've got single bird, single fish and W snake. So we're going to single bird, which is out this door and right up, up the broken pathway to our left. As you can see, that area that's just, just behind us now, well, as when we turn around, it'll just be in front of us. That is single fish. And then underneath the platform to single bird is where W snake is. So I'll try and keep you informed of the bosses, but I'll just quickly go through them. When we came in, the first boss you fight is a taken cap, a taken knight. That was on single bird. That was on dive and bird. Then we went to we went to infinite, which is a, a arc shielded taken cabal. So on the left you have infinite, which is an arc shielded taken cabal, as I just said. Then you've got fire breathing dragon, which is a taken captain solar shielded, and then you have two fish which is just a normal cabal, just like the ones we're shooting now, a lot bigger, like the shot, like the, like the boss of the Lake of, Lake of Shadows. And in this side, you'll have single bird, which will be a taken hobgoblin sniper. You'll have single fish, which will be a taken vandal sniper. And you'll have W snake, which will be a taken minotaur, an invisible minotaur. Once you've done those, you'll get... To, once you don't do the sixth plate, you'll be told to go back to Dive and Bird. And in Dive and Bird, you will have another Taken Captain, Solar Shielded. So what I tend to do is I keep my super, I try and keep the super for the Taken Captains, the Solar Shielded Captains. They're a pain in the backside, even with the super. Although I think in this run, I think I take the super, the Captain out with my super. I don't have to expel any different um, ammunition or uh, use any am ammo on them, the super does the job. Secondly, I've already spoke about why I'm using the mountain top. Why wouldn't I? It's, it's, it's a very good weapon, but it's been out for a long time, and I've already done a heap of runs without it. So what I will say to anybody that says, I can't, you know, this, this run's no good to me, I've, go and check out my other videos. I've done this whole section with the same sort of time, without using the mountain top. So I think I think nearly every time I've done this I've used a shotgun uh a primary shotgun instead of instead of the mountain top. And it works really well. So you guys could use that too. You know, the the super with Doomfang pauldrons, which is what I'm using with it. It's really good. So I would suggest that. So as you can see I'm looking across to see if there's a quicker route across, because we're now going to, I believe we're going to two fish, which is a taken cabal. Now, there's a, the other couple, kind of couple of things that I'll cover just before I get back onto this mountaintop thing, because I, I was a little bit, I was a little bit nervous about using it, because I've, I don't really use pinnacle weapons where I don't have to on the channel. Try to make the guides more inclusive. But this isn't a gate, this is just entertainment, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, I'm not suggesting that the, this is a very good way to do this on the Titan, but it's only a very good way if you have the mountaintop. So, but we're going to talk about a little bit more about that after this. So, the other, th the other thing you've got to look out for in this area, is you've got, I think, seven snipers dotted about on the cliffs. One of them is inside one of the areas where the bosses are. I believe it's W Snake the Taken Minotaur. You're also going to have three flash flash mobs of ads. So you'll have seen two of them already in the video. One is when you exit Diving, Diving Bird, which is the first area where you first get to. One is when you exit left. One is when you exit right, same area. And then the third one is when you go up the pathway towards uh, Single Bird, which you've seen me go up the broken pathway. When you get to the top, there's a there's a flash mob of ads waiting for you. So just be aware of those things. There's also two ads that can jump out the wall. Three, actually, if you take a certain route. But we're not going to take that route, so you'll never see the third one. The first one was that captain that we just left behind at Two Fish. And the second one is down here at W Snake. 
and it's a cabal that was going to jump out this wall to our left. If you go up the stairs, just a little bit further, there he goes. So just be aware when he drops, just be aware, get ready to, to hit him straight away. And that that's kind of this area. Just make your way through, follow, follow what I'm doing on the video. If you don't have the mountain top, then it's very simple. You could you could bust out uh, your, because as you can see, I've got Thunder Lord. You could bust out the Thunder Lord and just melt him with the Thunder Lord. You could put, there's a number of different things you could use. You could use Jotun. I'm not suggesting you use the broken version of Jotun where you hit him that close, you take a bit of damage and then increase your DPS. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that, that works actually so let me get this right if you hit someone with the Jotun close enough that it, it damages you as well it increases the damage you do with the Jotun I think that's the way it works I think on PC it increases it 6 or 7 times crazy but the, the Jotun you use normally is strong enough anyway so you can use that you use a primary bow you could use a, a, pol a scout rifle any variation of weapons will work in here. Unfortunately, you need a you need sticky needs. You need a sticky need grenade launcher for the skip. And as I've already said in this video, the Behringer is one of them. It drops from the gunsmith. It drops from Ashamir on Io. So if you've got enough stuff to go and get some stuff off Ashamir, some packages off Ashamir, then. Uh, Yep, it'll work for him. It'll work. What it won't do, and it's just a shame. One thing it won't, one thing that is a problem with using that, is you, you, and you'll see when we get to that part, your jumping just has to be that, just that little bit more precise. Because I, I'm, I'm going to use a sword. You know, I don't think you'll, you need a sword for it, but I'm going to use one just to help with the jump. But I am going to use a sword for skipping the the ogres on, on kind of the beams. I'm going to use a sword there. So just a quick heads up when we get to that point. I'll explain what I'm doing. I think in the video you're, you're going to see me change anyway. So yeah, I don't use the mountaintop for anything. In fact, the last two days has been the only time I've really used it ever. And as most of you that follow the channel know, I haven't been in the best of health. You can hear from the voice. The voice is the voice is a lot stronger, but it's still not 100%. I just, I felt like it had been forever since I spoke to you guys. So I wanted to get something out just, just, to, just, just to speak to you guys, to let you know I haven't left the game. I'm not, I'm not purposely not releasing content. I released a, a video last week. I didn't speak in it. It didn't feel right. I, d I didn't enjoy it, I didn't like releasing it, but I'd, I'd done the work on it, so I wanted you guys to see it. But yeah, I, I've used I've, I've used the mountaintop, I knew I might get some comments about it, so this is the, the kind of last time I'm going to speak about me using this. If you're on PlayStation, now I can't help you guys on PC and I can't help you guys on Xbox, yet. But if you're on PC, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. If you're on PlayStation and you're struggling to get to Fabled, there's a really cool guy. His name's Sviline. He is one of the nice guys who will help you, no problem at all, get to Fabled. Now, I'm leaving a link to his Twitch. He does this. This is his thing. He does this. He streams Monday to Friday, and he just helps people get to Fabled. No charge. 100% one of the nice guys of the community, friendly, just likes to help people. Again, because of the community that we're in, I know I could get some not very nice comments or thoughts because I'm using, you know, I'm suggesting that people... Why would I suggest people get help in this community? Listen, guys, that's what the community is about. As you can see here, I'm changing to the sword. I'm also going to, in a minute, change from Doomfangs to to Lime Rampants, and that's how we're going to that's how we're going to skip the ogre section on on the rafters on the beams. 
yeah, I, I see a lot of people saying, oh, if you can't get the weapon yourself, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to have it. Guys, these weapons have been out for long enough now. If you had the weapon when it first came out, you've had tons of time to use it where it was still unique and nobody had it. Now everybody should really get a shot, right? Everybody should be able to have a use of it. So, you know, this is this this is what another reason I wanted to release this because the challenge video is still waiting for me to do the commentary. That was going to go on the challenge video was about one of the things I was going to speak about was Svyline. So I'll leave his link in the description to his Twitch. Just go to his Twitch. I'll also find out. I can't remember exactly when he streams. I know what time he streams his time. I just don't know what his time is, whether it's Pacific Mean Time or, you know. I think he streams about 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10, 11 o'clock UK time. But his time, I think he's five hours in front, behind. He's five hours behind GMT. So you guys can work that out from that, right? Five hours behind us. Go on his stream, tell him who sent you, and he'll help you out. No charge. Totally trustworthy really is one of the nice guys and is an absolute crazy player he's very very cool very cool uh not salty never really gets salty at all he's just a nice guy and he's helped so many of my friends get to fabled i've put a lot of my friends in touch with him this is what he does he he just helps people get to fabled there's no you know i'll help you get to fabled for a cost no he just helps people so, go to his stream. If you're on PlayStation, you need to hit Fabled. Go to his stream. Tell him Mondo sent you. And he'll help you. You know, he might, he, he might not do it in that stream, but he'll arrange with you when he can do it. And if he says he's going to do it, he'll do it. He's just such a great player. And I, I've said it before, and I maintain it. The community needs more people like him. I'm so sick and tired of seeing adverts uh i'll get you to fabled for cost no that's that's not what a community is supposed to do a community is supposed to band together to have you know work together to help people get the rewards they need this is no different so that's the kind of thing about the mountaintop hopefully i'll be able to sort out some help on xbox or pc and or pc but at the moment, I can only offer PlayStation players that little bit of help. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can leave a comment saying you would appreciate it and let me know if you get it, if Svyling manages to help you. And I think the only thing I personally would ask you guys is if he manages to... I'm saying that like there's a doubt. When he gets you to Fabled, follow him on Twi Twitter. Uh, not Twitter, Twitch. Follow him on Twitch. That's it. That's that's the only payment. Because people like him, as I say, there's just not enough of them. There's not enough cool guys, nice guys who aren't salty, that don't take themselves too seriously in the PvP kind of scene, who just help people. You know, this is what this channel is. This channel exists not for me to say, hey guys, look, I'm, I'm such a good player. It's I found a way to do this that's repeatable try it and it might work and i don't get i get the biggest buzz when people comment back saying i tried your way and it worked thank you that's it so as you can see if you've been watching the video i'm not really i'm not really talking about the run 100 percent because if you've not got the mountain top you might feel like this isn't relevant to you you might just be watching it for the entertainment value to see how i've done the skip to see how I beat the boss on the Titan. And I've had comments before with people saying, oh, why are you using this weapon? And it's kind of why I've steered away from pinnacle weapons. I have all the pinnacle weapons, bar the not forgotten, and I don't use any of them. I've never had a thousand voices on my channel because I don't feel like I should be using it as part of a guide. So this one, I'm not going to put guide on. It's just a bit of entertainment. But... As you can see, <laughs> I still can't stop explaining it. 
as you can see, you can do this whole room from from range. The mountain top obviously helps. It does things a little bit faster. But if you've watched the warlock and the titan runs, the hunter runs that I done, I took those guys out pretty easily without using the mountain top. The mountain top it's just something a little bit different, and I wanted to use it because I was speaking about spy line, offering people on PlayStation a way to get this, uh, and it's got spike and sticky. So as I say, remem remember I've said it already in the video, the Behringer, there are, I think there's three that do it. One of them's green. One of them's a green grenade launcher that comes with with sticky grenades. So, but there's a, there, there, there's another thing I can say. We'll, we'll talk about it more when we get close. As you can see here, I'm going to take off the doom fangs and we're going to put on the boots because we're going to skip this next section. Make sure you've got catapult lift on. You need that for this jumping section because that's kind of the way that the sword kind of jump works. Now, with the with the the sticky grenade thing, skip. My I don't have that ability to go in and out my menus really quickly, right? Even though I've got a PS Pro. It still doesn't, the frame rates the, or whatever it is, still takes ages for me to, to go in and out my menu. If you can go in and out your menu quickly, then using a heavy grenade launcher for sticky grenades won't affect you one little bit because you could just fire your two stickies, as you'll see in the video when we get there, and then jump in and switch to your sword and still use it. You've got enough time to do that. So this is how I do the skip. I kind of hog the left-hand side. Now there's four platforms on the left-hand side. I kind of use them to keep my speed up. It's, it's nothing else. So what I'm doing is, is exactly the same. If anybody's seen the, the video on how we get the taken mods, it was exactly the same how we got to the ogre section there. Or how we got to the chest. So you jump, boost, cut it off, then sword swing. For some reason... It'll keep, it, it, but I think it only works with the catapult lift. It'll keep recharging the catapult jump. So we're using, we're going to switch back to the mountaintop because it's lightweight. I think I've got four or five mobility at this point. And then it's, it's Bugs Bunny time. We're just going to bounce all the way, all the way through this section. There's a little ledge just here. There it is, just in front of us. If you're really getting hurt, just get onto that ledge. Plus you've got your super. Remember that you've got your super as well. And the cool thing about this super is when the void detonators go off with a super, they give you health back. And you'll see that towards the end when I punch one of them. And he, the void detonator will explode and I get a whole bunch of health back. Which is pretty cool. It's one of the void detonators are the reason I'm using this middle tree void super. You see how much super I got back there? It's one of the reasons I'm using it because I figured that the Void Detonators would do a heap more extended kind of additional damage to the Knights because I knew I was going to skip the Ogre. So I knew that all I really had to worry about for high-end DPS was Dalakaru. Now there is going to be a point where we're going to switch to the Whisper. Yes, I'm using the Whisper. I like using the Whisper. You can use the Arbalist. The Arbalist works pretty well. You just, you really have to put a bit of DPS in quickly, but it still works. But I figure that, I mean, the Whisper and its Catalyst are over a year old. I should not, not be able to use it in a guide. If you haven't got it after a year, I mean, it's, for anybody that says they don't have people to run with, i done a challenge video, well, oh, six months ago, it was a 0 to 650, and I wasn't allowed to add anybody at my friends list. I still managed to find people that helped to do... I, in the three weeks that I was playing, I got the Whisper and the Catalyst. Anything you need to try and do, mission-wise, use the Bungie app, the, the Fire Team app. The Fire Team section, the Bungie app. If, the, if what you're looking for isn't there, post your own. Post your own Fire Team. And say, you know, try and build the Fire Team to the way... You want it. So, what we're doing now, I'm doing a little switch because I want, I've, I've just changed to 
grenade launcher scavenger. Um, I can't pick that up, so what I'm going to do is change to grenade launcher reserves. And I'm also going to come off of spikes and change to sticky on the mountaintop. So we're going to go grenade launcher. And then I'll change back. Because if I change back... Uh, oh, I'm not going to change back. But if you change back, you still keep your reserves. You don't lose them. So you'll see me do that sometimes in videos where I change to something and change straight back. It's for the ammo. So, here's another little tip bit about these sections. So, as you can see here, we've got the checkpoint. I could leave, go to orbit, and come back and still have the checkpoint. Now, you'll see in the video, obviously, I cut it because I didn't do it first time. It's cool. I didn't die. I just didn't do it first time. But what I also done was I changed from to my shotgun. So I am going to use the Ikelos shotgun. So what you do is you fire your sticky grenade halfway up the left-hand wall, jump up on it, turn around, fire your sticky grenade to almost the top of the wall. And then jump up, sword swipe onto it, crouch. Now, you might get a little bit of pushback. It's fine, just keep wiggling and you'll walk underneath the gap and you'll walk onto that ledge. Now, what you want to do is follow the route that I'm taking. And when you get to a certain part, which I will point out, it's just up here. When you jump up onto this, this block, we're going to jump up onto this block. And then jump over here. Do you see that new objective? If you don't get that new objective, you can't go forward. Now you can, but just it'll count it as you're still at the the, the ogre checkpoint. Wipe, which is what actually happened to me. That's why I cut the video. I should have kept it in so you guys could see. But I cut the video so that I could go back and actually do it. Now I'm gonna switch to the whisper and get all my weapon load up set up so that I'm I'm I'll put on a sniper, um, uh, another heavy ammo finder, so that in this next section with all the ads, I'm going to try and farm some, some ammo, because obviously when you switch, you've got no ammo. So if you don't get that, that you'll hear a door open just before there, it's like chains, like a, a door opening up. And then when you get that and the music stops when you jump on that block, you know it's worked. It's not that it won't work. Sometimes it just bugs out. I know it's really stupid. The bug bugs out. Of course it bugs out. It's a bug. It's not a bug. It's a cheese. But I've done this switch now, this, this thing about four times. That's the first time it glitched out on me. So I had to kill myself and redo it again. So yeah, if you... If the music goes, it's it's Riven's music. It's the music for Queen's Walk, for anybody that knows that music. When that disappears, when you jump on that block, you know it's worked. And that's, that is that is the switch. Now, as I was saying, when you get to uh, the Vorgoth, is it Vorgoth? I think it is Vorgoth. When you get to Vorgoth, it's the same as Dalakaru. You get a checkpoint. Once you've got that checkpoint, you can leave and go to orbit. Go and get ammo, yada yada, and come back. If you're solo in this, it will still give you the achievement at the end for soloing Dalakaru. If you don't die and you come, you, you you've not got any ammo, you don't want to farm it because you don't want to die. You can go to orbit and come back and still get the solo flawless because you never died. Now. I'm telling you, I'm taking the heat for this. I'm saying to you guys that you can do this. I haven't tested it. I have been, I have it on a highly reliable source that that is the way it is. And I've often wondered whether you could do it. I should have tested it before now. I can't test it on, I couldn't have tested it on this account because I've already got the solo flawless. But you can go, if you get the checkpoint, you can go and go and get ammo and then come back. And it doesn't affect your solo or your flawless. Now, you'll have seen me going into my menu. It's worthwhile remembering to change back from sticky to spike. Because it's spike, spike grenades is, is, spike needs is really what makes the mountaintop 
what it is. So we're just going to go all the way to the boss here now. We're not, well, I'm going to do one more little, most people know about this little kind of switch. I'm going to completely bypass, which is why I haven't took the boots off yet. I'm going to completely bypass that taken wall that with the, the taking stuff that bloops you out, pushes you out. We're going to completely skip that wall. Now, this can be done as far as I'm aware. It can be done on the, the Hunter because I've done it myself. You need Stompies on. I think you can do it on the Warlock. You just need high mobility. But again, I've not tested that, but the Warlock's jump is pretty long. So you'll see. I'm, 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 again, I'm just not sure because I've never done it on the Warlock. But when you get to the top, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here. I'm going to put a grenade down and try and farm some ammunition. I'm going to farm ammo a couple of times, which was kind of pointless to do. I did get a, quite a bit of heavy. I should have just got to the end and done it. But I was I didn't want to do the the going to orbit thing. But I, I, I got some special, so that's what I was farming for. So you just get to the end of that and jump right up here. That is, that is us. We've completely bypassed the taken wall. We don't have to worry about that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to punch a heap. I'm going to punch quite a, quite a lot of these these guys trying to get some special. I didn't get any. I got tons of heavy to drop, but I never got any special. So the boss section. Let's just speak about that quickly because it's going to happen pretty quickly when we get in there. What you're going to do is you're going to obviously slide down the stairs, get to the bottom of the stairs, get back up, and that gets the knights to turn. Now, they, they won't always all turn, but you'll at least get one to turn. If you get them all to turn, it's all good. You aim your sniper, get whisper breathing going, and then pop one shot on each knight's head. That's enough to get them to run away. They'll, they'll disappear. I head to the left-hand side, and I fire one mountain top. I jump up and I fire one mountain top, which most of the time clears all the ads if you fire it right in the middle of them. And that gets rid of all the ads. So you'll see what I'm using here. These are the weapons I'm going to be using. I've got the Ikelo shotgun on, mountain top, whisper. And the only piece of exotic armor that I'm going to be using is Doomfang pauldrons. So we're going, we're going to put one whisper breathing snipe on each night. Then we're going to go to the left. We're going to jump up. When the ads appear, we're going to put a mountain top in the center of them to clear as many as we can. Merely whatever's left. Then we're going to run back out into the center. The knights are going to appear, but the second wave of ads is going to the, the second bunch of ads is going to come into the center. We're going to pop a super, and we're going to use the Doomfang Pauldron's ability to give you your shield back. Right. So basically, what we're going to do is, as you can see pop each knight and then jump up we put a mountain top in the center just merely anything that's left then we're going to pop our super when the knights appear we're going to throw a shield at the knights and then shield bash one of the ads and just keep doing that shield at the knights shield bash an ad shield at the knight and every time you do a shield bash you'll get you'll get your shield back then i'm going to go after the knights and try and put a heap of damage on them now do not don't get too engaged, right? So as you can see, I'm just moving away. But we want to go back over to this side. Right? I'm going to put my grenade down. All the ads are kind of there. That kind of slowed them down. Now I'm going to put a mountain top on one, which gets all the detonators to go off. That kills two of them. I knew one was still alive because you can see the void detonator in midair. So I'll just wait for him with the mountain top. One mountain top. Switch the shotgun. Bang, bang. And that's all three knights down. Pick up the orbs, and then it's just get behind one of one of these pillars. Get your whisper breathing propped, and don't be like me and miss two snipes. Put seven or eight snipes on 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 her head, and she just managed to just move there before I could hit her hit her head. But as you can see, you do nearly a million damage per shot, which tells you that she must have close to I think it's eight shots kill kill killer with headshots so that's almost eight million damage and now we will just finish her off with a couple of well-placed snipes and that's it 
The only other thing I would say that I haven't mentioned so far, but I think you would have seen it in the, in, in the clips, I have full transcendent blessings on, so that's 25% additional damage. If you've been following my video on how to get the mods, you might have a taken spec, which means you can put it on a weapon, do an extra 10% on that weapon. And that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope it's been entertaining. I hope my voice hasn't been too annoying. Hopefully, my voice will be strong enough to do some more videos over the weekend. And if so, I'll see you then.